Lions, tigers, and bears, oh my. This isn't the land of Oz. It's actually Noah's Ark. A wildlife rehabilitation center just south of Atlanta. It's an animal habitat that houses a very special trio. Leo the lion, Shere Khan the tiger, and Baloo the black bear. They live in an exhibit called the clubhouse. And spend their days playing. Entertaining visitors and relaxing. But life hasn't always been so good. In 2001, Atlanta police officers rescued three cubs during a drug raid. Veterinarian Karen Thomas recalls the incident. We're sticking to it. Yeah, he's lost a lot of weight. He looks a lot better. So a lot of the drug dealers had a lot of money to spend, and they thought it'd be cool to have big cats. And if the animals hadn't been rescued... I'm certain they would have just been probably killed because nobody would have been able to handle them as mature animals. The police hand the trio over to Georgia's Department of Natural Resources. Good morning. You ready to play? Huh? The DNR knows just who to call to find the cubs a home. Let's go. Please, will you eat that for Mama? Huh? You don't want it? You don't want it? Jema Hedgecoat, founder of Noah's Ark, doesn't blink before accepting them. No, 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 no. You can't be knocking me down. And I was like, well, of course I can take them, absolutely. I was so excited. The 12-week-old cat cubs were in relatively good shape after their ordeal. But the bear needed medical attention. He was wearing a harness that had been put on probably when he was only this big and it had grown into the tissue under his armpit. Luckily, we got him before it got any worse. Baloo's surgery frees him to grow and grow. <gasps> We're gonna have a cookie. You want a cookie? Huh? Today, Big Baloo clocks in oh, at about 700 good. pounds. Oh, you're gonna take it. Very good. All right, I thought you might. Come on. Let's go play. Come on, handsome, let's go play. Come on. Come Noah's Ark director, Jema Hedgeco, did consider separating the three. We kept watching them because you never know with animals when, you know, their temperament may change. So after watching them pretty close for about four years, then we knew we was pretty home free. Eddie, okay, here we go. Although Noah's Ark yeah. staff is pretty comfortable with the trio, most zoo trainers don't get this close. No, go on. Great cat expert Craig Sappho knows how unlikely this combination is. You have animals who, as adults, would probably never run into each other, would probably never have a reason to even know that, they, that each other exists. The biggest danger in having animals together who are not the same species is that each one has a different set of weapons. Each one has a different size. Each one has a different personality. If the bear were to get super irritated, maybe just woke up on the wrong side of the bed one morning and decided he wanted to throw his weight around, it's a large animal. You know, he's much bigger. If the, if the lion decided he wanted to throw his weight around, He's got razor-sharp claws, huge teeth. He can certainly put a bite down that would be difficult for the bear to handle. So how does this trio get along? Hi, buddy. Come on. Growing up together with no competition for food or females helps.
All three are neutered. The reason Leo has no mane. And each animal has unique traits that may play a part. Now, Baloo's perfect gentleman. He's awesome. He's always a gentleman. He um, dreams about eating cakes and dreams about eating um, cookies and sweet things and grapes and watermelon. Blue's a lover. He's awesome. He's a sweetheart. Okay. He's always gentle. Okay. I always told him that if every bear was like him, they wouldn't have a bad reputation. <laughs> He's the most laid back. Oh with all of them, but yet he tells everybody what to do. Then Leo, the lion, he's the quiet one. He sort of lays around and just takes it easy. He'll run a little bit in the morning and play, and we'll run the fence and throw balls and, and have fun. But after about 15, 20 minutes, he starts slowing down. He's a tree hugger. <laughs> Shere Khan, the tiger, is uh, very mischievous and a little on the ornery side. Shere Khan never slows down. Sort of like a kitten. He's like a six-week-old kitten is the best way to describe him. He never has grown up. Yeah. Go get them. Go get Charlie. They don't get to fuss him with each other, but it's never an aggression. It's like Leo may get aggravated at Shere Khan for, like, you've just pounced me five times in a row. Can you please stop? Energetic Shere Khan and Gentle Baloo have a clearly affectionate bond. <laughs> Striking, because tigers as a species are typically solitary. But there's this love that they have for each other, and they put up with things that other species don't put up with, even our pairs of tigers. For this situation, those guys certainly do look like they get along just like friends, so why not call them friends? And I wouldn't advocate sticking a bear in the middle of a group of big cats. However, for these individuals, it certainly seems like the most responsible action for them and their welfare, their quality of life, would be to leave them as they are. They're bonded. At age 10. All right. Good boy. Look at you. The trio is poised to enjoy many more years of friendship. It's a very happy ending. They will live the rest of their life together. I just I wish they could live forever. I know they can't. But um, the, as long as they're alive and they're healthy, they will stay just like they are. Mm -hmm.